that right there, that's the spirit of Sturgis, boys. That's the spirit of the rally right there. Old chopper. Don't know if she'll start or not. The way it used to be done. That's what you call old school there. Good morning. You're with Clutch from the Sodak Motorcycle Blog. Here on August 6th. And we're about to begin an epic journey to the Sturgis Rally. This journey is going to take us over some very challenging terrain, including, well, the interstate and, and hills that aren't very steep. And, uh, okay, so yeah, it's not a very uh, big deal for me to get Sturgis. I mean, we're, those of you who don't know, I pretty much li I live 20 miles away from there. So, yeah, it's not like it's really hard for me to get there. So that's where we're heading today. Well, eventually. We're actually going to Deadwood first. I'm a test ride. A new test ride, a live wire. Which, yes, the live wire of formerly of Harley fame. However, Harley has spun it off in its own division or its own company or something. I don't know how it works either way. Harley's still with them, but not really. And my understanding is they basically pulled the Harley badges off, dropped the bike prices by about 10 grand, so you know, like normal people can afford them. <laughs> it's amazing that Harley badge costs 10 grand, but I believe it. So we're gonna go up that one and check that out. But first things first, I need some fuel for the bike and I need some fuel for me, so. We'll head up to the old, the old uh, crappy Piedmont truck stop here that always annoys me and pisses me off, and yet I still keep going because apparently I'm stupid. And we'll head up to Deadwood. Here we are again, 2022. Nothing new. Same old hat. I'd say we're probably. I you could probably call this one the fully, fully normal rally now. You know, last year was still we were still doing all the travel restriction stuff for our for our Canadian friends, some of our foreign friends, especially our Canadian friends. But now this is the first rally that they'll be back, so I'm guessing it'll be kind of similar numbers to last year, maybe a little bit more, probably not 500,000 range. That's kind of where I'm thinking it's gonna be. That's where most of them seem to end up, so that's what I'm going with. Other than that, we're all back and good to go. So we'll check that out, probably check out a few other demo rides. Um, You know, all that fun stuff. Yep, rally's back. Welcome. Now, could I be all pissed off about that? Yeah, but you know what? It's not that big of a deal. They're motorcycles. They had plenty of room. And frankly, that blue car in the front that's holding everybody up, if they just, you know, grow, grow a pair and freaking just speed, you'd be fine. That's one downfall of this when they do this stupid 65 mile per hour speed limit between frickin' uh, Rapid City and Sturgis. Is all it does is instead of everybody going 65, you got basically one group going 65 and another lane going 67 and a quarter. And it's, it's, it's stupid because all it does is just creates more traffic. I think it makes traffic worse. I think it makes traffic worse myself, but 
I'm still patient, so we're still law-abiding at this moment now. Granted, that may change. I usually last about two or three days before, before I just start, you know, <laughs> doing the same thing on a bike, just waving through everybody and say, you know what, I've had enough of this crap. And the thing is, it's not the bikes that... Generally around here, yeah, the bikes pull some stupid cowboy sh**, but for the most part, honestly, in my experience, the ones that I think you have the most issues with are just the regular car drivers. I think they're the ones that are by far the worst of all of them. And you're going to say, oh, you're just saying that. Well, probably not my subscribers because most of you are motorcyclists, but maybe if you're someone watching this as not a motorcyclist and, you know, just to say, oh, you see, look at what them idiots do. Well... Let me tell you, there's lots of people in cages that are doing a lot more stupid sh stuff. So, in the end, it's Sturgis Rally. There's a lot of stupid that comes with it. It's all deals. Think about it is, it's only 10 days that we got to deal with it. And then it goes back to quiet normal. So, and as we learned in 2020, the rally's going to happen whether people say we should do it or not. So, you should do what I do find something you like about it go seek it out and try to enjoy it the best you can because well you know you can either be miserable or you can try to find something good in your life and I'm one of them people that I think you definitely should try to find something good in your life because here's the deal you're gonna die regardless so you can either die and, and be happy through your life and enjoy things, or you can die being miserable and bitter and, you know, having a terrible life. So, a lot of your life is dependent on, you know, what you make it. So, I suggest you, to, to use the overused cliche, take those lemons, make some, make some mother, mother effing lemonade and drink the hell out of it and enjoy it. That's what I intend to do, so. Alrighty, we is approaching Sirtis. Like I said, I told you it was quite an epic journey. I think that clock said 8 o'clock when I went to the gas station. It's 8.34 now. We've come a really hard and long 20 miles. I encouraged many, or excuse me, successfully navigated many obstacles like four-lane highways and off-ramps and uh, cloudy skies. It was a very epic and challenging journey. That's right, I rode my 2022, baby. Yeah! <laughs> this would be, I rode mine 2022 number one. I would guess we're gonna have probably at least three. Yep, at least three, because I'll be up here tomorrow for the good ride. I'll be up here on Tuesday for Dakota Thunder. So yeah. I will say this, if you have a thing against people invading your personal space, like they come up beside you at a stoplight, don't come to Sturgis because, yep, they're going to do it, and it's best just to go with it, dude. Like, who cares? I know there's a lot of you out there get all butthurt when people do that. You know what? I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, yes, yeah, our favorite, the stop signs. Gotta love the stop signs. Gotta love the stop signs. I have no beer in my system, so I'm doing a one foot stop. Breaking the law, baby, breaking the law. Like I said, I crack my first beer and go ride and no. If I've had anything in my system, then it becomes a two foot stop. All right, well, goodbye Sturgis. That was quick. All right, on to Deadwood, baby. Well, here we are. We're in Deadwood. Deadwood is a very popular stop here during rally. I mean, very, extremely popular. Like, oh. Well, let's put it this way. Two-lane life coming did a Sturgis when no one's there, and I'm pretty sure the first five videos were Deadwood. <laughs> so, needless to say, Deadwood is popular. 
obviously you throw a bunch of gambling in a place well yeah and well beautiful views you know the whole black hills checklist beautiful views blah 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 now let's see if i can find a place to park that's another problem here in deadwood is finding places to park a few combat vets well there's the trailers so how much they charge you to park there well let's find out actually it looks like they got some bike park in there Another Law Tiger sign. Good. Good. <laughs> Can't forget the Law Tiger signs. Gotta have those. No rallies complete. Oh yeah, and of course the gecko. The gecko has arrived. Welcome, Mr. Gecko. Ah, let's park by these FJs. That'll work. Let's go to Sturgis. That would test them here, but I think they're dumb ride route kind of sucks here because <laughs> I'm assuming it follows the same route the live wire does which means up in the lead and back which that ain't much so we're about to go to Sturgis for the second time I rode mine twice already yeah I don't think that's really how it works but still I do get the iRoad mine though, because. But here's the thing, and I'm gonna stand up for the trailer, the trailer people here. So sometimes it just works better to have a damn trailer. I mean, it. it sometimes the logistics are just better to trailer the thing. Like, I don't know. You want a decent place to sleep in that's not a tent. I mean, if you got an RV, well, you know what. Because, I mean, let's be honest, staying in a tent for a week is just not that fun. I'm sorry. I just... I mean, granted, it's a cheap way to do it, and I ain't going to lie. If I ever go to another motorcycle rally somewhere, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find a place where it costs five bucks a night to uh, tent camp in the yard. Like, that's exactly how I would do it. Because I'm kind of cheap like that. But a lot of people, not so much. And I don't... I don't blame them because tents aren't the most exciting thing in the world and well you get some of our good old trademark uh, August thunderstorms that come through during rally and well a tent's really not the place you want to be so like I said I don't think I don't have an issue to trailer your bike here like because like I said sometimes the logistics work like for example we went to Washington this year you know what we didn't do we didn't ride the bike out there we trailered it You know why? Because everybody that went with us wasn't didn't have a motorcycle, so that's how it worked. Sometimes, in some places, like here, like if you need to go work on the bike in the winter and there's six inches of snow on the ground, well, it's going to be kind of hard for you to ride it probably to the dealership, just saying. Like I said, a surefire way to get a bike to speed up on you is just start going around them, and then they'll speed up instantly. It's kind of always interesting to me. And car drivers the same way, so. Alrighty, well. Let's get on into Sturgis and uh, I guess go ride some more motorcycles. All right, let's take a romp down old Main Street.
we're here let's go ride some bikes but first I gotta find my card um, and where are they at there they are there's all my my card collection here let's see let's see oh my god riding on uh yeah maybe OG victory that one's no good um yeah we'll take that one and there we go there we go got the three awesome now we can go ride something a little longer than a few minutes later i gotta say i love test riding the bikes and stuff but and i said this last year it always feels good to get back on my bike that's what tells me that I have the right motorcycle because if you test ride other cool, fun, awesome bikes and you get back on your own and you're like, ha, ah, that feels right, that feels better, then you've got the right motorcycle, my friend. You've got the motorcycle for you. Fan, that's cool. For here? Yeah, because you're in the white line, that's why no one's there. It's a fucking handicap. It doesn't matter here. It doesn't matter between the signs. It doesn't matter between the signs. Yep. It don't matter between the signs. Between the, the, the barriers, it don't matter. Alright. Controversy here been some discussion. Yes, I'm in it, technically illegal spot. However, the barriers are up, right here don't matter. That does not matter as long as it's between the barriers. And additionally, 20 bucks. But they ain't getting a tow truck in here at all. Good luck with that. Parking ticket's only 20 bucks, so if they wrote one anyway, okay, 20 bucks. They ain't gonna get where it gets you is towing, but yeah that was the case pretty much half a main street you wouldn't be able to park on so hopefully that settles the uh the record i know some of you some of you keyboard warriors are going to tell me i'm wrong and i'm stupid but I've done this for 10 years great travesty travesties befallen us chorus is gone no more chorus sucks best damn loompy around no chorus this year that's really sad Can I ask you, where'd you get the phone holder? Do you have a phone holder for that too? I do, yeah. A few moments later. Thank you very much. Oh, no problem. It. All right. Take care. Have yep, a thanks. Well, we had a little conversation, but that's okay. Okay. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> He's like, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what kind of lizard it is. It's a lizard of some kind. There we go. Alrighty. Like I said, sorry about that, but hey, you know what? You know, I I don't mind chit-chatting with people generally, you know. He just wants some information about my bike and glad to provide some answers, so. <laughs> It's pretty a common occurrence I'm asked about my XM antenna. 
That's for sure. Uh-oh. Totec, that's a different company. Yeah, they generally do tow stuff in this town. All right. All righty, well, there we go. Day one over. I mean, not over, but over for me anyway. Time to head home. Actually, I got to go to Walgreens and pick up a couple prescriptions. Then we'll head home. <laughs> but, you know, nothing really new. The same old, same old, same old. If you've seen one rally, you've seen all of them. So, but. But, like I said, it was a good day. Got to ride some new, different bikes. Got to ride a live wire. So, that was very fun to ride an electric motorcycle. Um. Got to ride that Harley Lowrider ST, which, man, that's a fun, fun bike. Oh, I'm going to sneak by him here. All righty. A successful day. Had a good time. Got to ride some motorcycles, got to see some motorcycles, got to see some people. Ran to a f another one, got to hang out with one of my fellow Green Knights for a little bit here. He was in town, so it was good to see him. And yeah, I think we're going to call her a day and we'll be back tomorrow for the good ride. You know what, I'm just going to say it again. <laughs> I say it every year, man. Learn the shortcuts of Sturgis and use them. Because it may come in handy. Please go check out my Sturgis shortcuts video. I'm going to post it here at the end credits. Because, you know why you should learn your shortcuts? Because that's why. Because look how far backed up that traffic is. That's worse than last year was. So, one thing I will say, and it's just letting you in but uh, on some local knowledge here, but uh, people in Rapid complain about how bad the rally is and how busy it is. You know what, this is a Saturday and Looks pretty mundane, don't it? Yeah. I always laugh at uh, people I know that live in Rapid City. Because, yeah, up on the interstate, yeah, you see it. But, I mean, down here, um, yeah. <laughs> this is why I always laugh when people from Rapid City complain about how bad the rally is. As someone who formerly lived in Sturgis. Huh. You've seen the tape. You see the evidence. What do you think? What's worse, Rapid City or uh, Sturgis? I'm pretty sure that uh, Sturgis is far worse. And anybody that lives in Rapid that complains about how bad the rally traffic is, I think uh, you just need to shut up because you have no f Cause this is what Saturday looks like here. Yeah, there's a few more bikes than normal, but it's not wall to wall. So anyways, 